My name's Mary, and this is The Biotech Effect, your source for all things biotech and pharma. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the difference between biotechnology companies and pharmaceutical companies. So biotechnology companies are those that focus on the research and development of innovative technologies using living organisms. Living organisms can also be referred to as biologics. Pharmaceutical companies use chemical entities to create their drugs, so not living. I don't mean to stereotype, but this may be a stereotype, but biotechs are really focused on innovation and new technologies. Pharmaceutical companies may prioritize large-scale distribution. Little secret though, we're all in the business of discovering, developing, and delivering. Over the years, biotechnology companies have explored different therapeutic areas and different areas of study. Now, most biotechnology companies are small to mid-sized market capitalization, typically under $2 billion. Large pharmaceutical companies can have a market cap of over $100 billion. Here's a list of some of the small to mid-cap biotechnology companies. Enjoy them while I drink my martini. And here's a list of pharmaceutical companies. These are some of the biggest well-known companies you're probably pretty familiar with. Cheers. Now, biotechnology companies can be riskier because they're focusing on the discovery and development of brand new innovative molecules. Another difference you might find is that biotechnology companies often focus on the research and development of drugs, whereas pharmaceutical companies may be the whole gamut, which includes marketing a drug. It's a really sad thing these days because a lot of biotechnology companies are not making it all the way to commercializing their products. A lot of things can go wrong in drug discovery and development. I'll explain more in another video. Now, culture within biotechnology companies often emphasize risk-taking, innovation, collaboration. Pharmaceutical companies, being much larger and more established, may have more traditional and hierarchical cultures. That doesn't mean that big pharma are the bad guys. There's plenty of companies out there that are doing good for patients. Now, cost for drug development is expensive for both biotech companies as well as pharma companies. One of the big differences is that biotech co biotechnology companies are usually funded by venture capitalists. They may not have products that have already come to market, so they need someone to pay for them. Pharmaceutical companies, on the other hand, typically have so many products that have already been commercialized in their pipeline that they're able to fund themselves. Now, this isn't always the case, but regulatory requirements, time to market, intellectual property, venture capitalists or partnerships, those also vary greatly if you're a small startup, smart up, if you're a small startup biotech versus a larger established pharmaceutical company. So here's a quick list of all the different types of comparisons of things to consider between a biotechnology company and a pharmaceutical company. I'm gonna have another drink. At the end of the day though, we're all trying to make affordable drugs for patients. Except Martin Shkreli. He's a <laughs> My martini is almost finished, so hit all those buttons to like and subscribe, and thanks for tuning in to the Biotech Effect. Cheers!